Good day ladies and gents, the topic of today is uh, morphine and we're also going to talk about the other injectors in the game, we're going to see if any of the effects are changed and I'll just share my opinion on which one of them are good and which ones I daily use in Tarkov. So first of all, the whole thing uh, started on Twitter as usual, Logical Solutions posted that the morphine might be broken now as it doesn't show any of the painkiller effects. So the first thing I want to do is uh, to test morphine in the game to see if it's actually bugged or it's just a visual glitch. Right now if we open morphine it says use time 2 seconds and it doesn't show any of the effects. So we're gonna load into the raid and uh, test it out. And while we're loading into the raid I would love to thank all of you for the super nice and super kind comments on my previous video. I, I, I read all the comments and I do appreciate the kind feedback so thank you so much for being so wholesome. And yeah, I really, I really appreciate your support. Let's test the morphine now. Yep, still no effects. Let's pop it. Hmm, no effects. All right. Quick update. While I was recording this video, BSG actually already fixed the morphine. It gives, uh, it removes pain for 300 seconds. So half of this video is kind of irrelevant even though Proptol does remove the pain now as well. So yeah, um, a bra moment, but props to BSG for fixing it fast. All right, we've tested Morphin. It actually doesn't work. I don't know if BSG done this on purpose because the first thing we should notice this wipe is that Proptol doesn't have a painkiller. Wait, Proptol does have a painkiller effect. It removes it, but it removes it for 240 seconds. All right, this absolutely makes no sense because the first thing BSG done this wipe is they removed uh, removing the pain from uh, Proptol because it was OP last wipe. Everybody was running Proptol and nobody was using Morphine for that reason. Uh, I want to test this real quick. Right, pop the Proptol. And it does give you the painkiller effect. Wow. All right, you know what? While Proptol is very cheap and nobody's using it, I'm going to stock up on it. Um, and if it goes back to its usual positions, if it's gonna be useless as it used to be in the beginning of the wipe, I'll just sell them for 13,000 rubles to a therapist because that's how much you pays for them. In other words, I will use it right now while it's removing pain and when it goes back to original, if all of this is a bug and it's not planned, I'm just gonna sell it and I won't really lose much money. And let's talk about the rest of the stims and see if they are changed. ETG, health regen, 60 seconds, fast, looks the same, SJ6, Max Stamina, Stamina Recovery lo looks the same. Zagustin looks the same more or less. Perfotero, I actually think Perfotero is a really good steam. The only downside is that it reduces your energy by like 66. Uh, but it also heals at the same time. So it's gonna stop all the bleeds and it's gonna keep healing you for 60 seconds as well as it removes toxin. So I do have one of those in my injectors case. Well, sometimes I do. Uh, and yeah, generally I use the steam a couple of times this swipe and I quite like it to be honest. Mule looks the same. The only reason I'm not really using Mule is because they, they are very expensive on the fleet. If I find them on raid when I play labs, I typically just sell them for 100k on the fleet. And instead of using Mule, I use SG6 to get to the extractions when I'm overweight. PNB, very purple steam, looks very pretty. Purple is my favorite color. And it removes concussion. It gives you health regen for 40 seconds, it reduces the damage your body takes by 10% and it increases your strength by 20. So this is actually a pretty viable and very diverse team. I think I'll start keeping it in my pouch now, uh, but I haven't really used it much before. And Obdol Boss 2, stats are looking the same and also gives you 80% more damage except the head which is insane. Basically it will take people twice less bullets to kill you in the raid. So. Use it at your own risk. What kind of stims do you typically run in your injector case? I also know that some people don't use injector case and they just pop like Morphine and Zagustin. They have it on their quick slots um, in their pockets. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below which stims you're using. And more or less this is it for today. Those are all the news. I appreciate your stay. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.